Hi friends, welcome to Concepts of Geology online classes. We were in the domain of economic geology and on the last class we have completed the introductory part of the subject. Now we know very well what is an ore, what are the attributes of ore and its related terminologies. Now before going to the ore genesis, we should know how the ore bodies appear in field, in hand specimen and under microscope. These morphological and textural terms come frequently during the discussion of ore genesis. So in this module, we will recognize how does the morphologies and textures look and in the next module that is the genesis, there we will learn why they look like that. Okay. So the module one that is the introduction is already covered fine and in this module morphology of the ore bodies will be discussed. In this class, we will complete the regular bodies comes under discordant ore bodies and irregular bodies and concordant ore bodies will be covered in the next class. So let's start. If you are recalling in the first class that was the introduction to economic geology, I told we will concentrate on megascopic observations in the module 2 that is the morphology of ore deposit. Okay, I think you are following me in series in sequence. If you are not, I will suggest you please go through the uh, previous uploads, the links are provided in description. Okay, what is megascopic scale? Megascopic means on field or outcrop scale. When we see a rock on outcrop scale, we call it a megascopic observation. Okay, megascopic. That means on field view. outcrop scale okay when we are observing a rock in hand specimen then it is called mesoscopic observation mesoscopic means on hand specimen okay and when we are preparing polished or thin section and observing the rock under microscope, this is called microscopic observation. Okay, under microscope. Fine. In megascopic scale, the basic appearance of the ore body may be discordant or concordant with the country rock. Okay, so the megascopic scale, mega scopic is divided into two part that is concordant and discordant fine we are already familiar with these two terms we have read in igneous petrology concordant means the ore body is not cross cutting the fabric of the country rocks what are fabrics Fabric means any planar or linear structure in the rock. This may be a lineation, foliation, a bedding plane, etc. If the ore body is not cross cutting these elements, rather they are containing them or run parallelly with them, then it is a concordant ore body. But when it is cross cutting the fabric, then it will be called as a discordant ore body. Fine. So concordant is parallel to fabric and discordant is cross cut the fabric. Now in igneous petrology we have read concordant and discordant for intrusions. That is when the magma is intruding into a country rock then if it is cross cutting the fabric then it is discordant otherwise it is concordant. That means there the country rocks are pre-existing but here in case of ore geology you will see a concordant ore body may form simultaneously with the country rock. Am I clear? These ore bodies are called syngenetic ore bodies. Syngenetic. Here the host rock or country rock and the ore body is synchronous fine okay. 
discordant ore bodies may be regular where they follow a particular trend or even may be irregular also okay so this may be regular or irregular now in case of a regular discordant ore body now if the ore body is extensive in two dimension while the third dimension is limited then they are looking like a plywood used to make a table okay they are called table like or tabular deposit so tabular extensive in 2d and limited on the third for example suppose a vein deposit now again one another question what is the difference between a vein a load and a dike all are discordant and tabular bodies okay vein dike and loads one of my friends answered dikes are vertical is it no this is again a misconception although in 99.99% of cases we found dikes are vertical in structural geology maps but dike may be even horizontal also what needed is the intrusion should essentially cross cut the fabric look actually in veins loads and dikes there are genetic differences not morphological dikes form due to intrusion of magma through fractures or joints in a rock dike is a rock body okay dike is a rock body for example suppose dolerite dike or lamprophar dike founds in the tensional cracks of gondwana rocks but in case of veins they are monomineralic okay for example suppose quartz veins or calcite veins they result from percolating hydrothermal fluids which infill the fractures of rocks now what is load the load is of entirely different origin they form due to extensive replacement of the host rock so we should be causes while using these terms okay this form due to replacement of host rock for example suppose you have heard the name of uh, champion loads in kolar gold field this is an example okay now the next discordant regular ore body is tubular ore bodies okay so one is tabular and the other is tubular this is one this is two in case of tubular ore bodies they are extensive in one dimension while the two other dimensions are limited extensive in one dimension while the others are limited that means they will look like tubes when these ore bodies are vertical they are called chimneys or pipes okay chimney or pipes this means vertical tubes and when they are horizontal they are termed as manto although in spanish manto means blanket but keep in mind the deposit look like horizontal or a sub horizontal tube okay this is horizontal tube okay so the name here is a misnomer if it is planar like blanket then it will be called as flat which is a tabular morphology anyway normally we found pipes as feeder of mantos and flats okay now suppose some tubular deposits formed by sub horizontal flow of mineralized fluid where the ore grade is discontinuous okay so suppose this is the 
deposit tube like deposits and this is sub horizontal to horizontal okay the ore grade is discontinuous here so that means the entire body may not be considered as ore rather the ore will have a pod like shape suppose this is the ore here the this is the ore and also here this is the ore the rest of the body is not considerable as the ore it has a lower grade then they are called body from deposits because they have a pot like shapes you must have heard the name of body from chromite deposit okay body from chromite okay this is an example of pot shaped deposit so these were regular discordant ore bodies i think it will be wise to stop here today in the next class we will complete the rest of the topic please share and subscribe the channel to be with me many of my subscribers are not getting notifications when i am uploading a new video i will request you to please press the notification icon that is the bell icon and make your youtube notification enabled if you have any confusion or suggestion please mention in the comment box okay goodbye thank you for watching